Welcome to Fiber Chronicles, where I will take you on my journey through the fiber arts. You can find me on Ravelry and Facebook as Fiber Chronicles. Today, I am going to do something that is new to me, and that is putting snaps on using these pliers for plastic snaps and the snaps like this, T5 snap buttons. I've never used these before, they came in the mail today. So you get to watch me as I learn what I am doing. So I open it up and on the back it shows what comes in the package but it doesn't say anything about how to use it anywhere on the packaging. We have the tool. Some of the different sizes, because it will do three different sizes. It has the T5s, I'm guessing, in there already, because that's the snaps that came with it. It has a second arm. And it has a couple of where it has a screwdriver and an awl. On my video a couple weeks ago, I showed this preemie sleep sack that I had knitted and needed its snaps for it. So I ordered the snaps and now I'm going to put them on. And on the back of the package for the snaps, then there are some directions that are very difficult to see these directions are not good at all so I guess that means I will be doing some guessing now since I'm doing these putting these snaps through a knitted fabric I know that I can't just put them directly on this and expect it to be nice and sturdy especially for a baby so I purchased some ribbon. Gross grain ribbon usually does really nicely with less fraying and less of the problem with the grains of the um, fabric itself, the ribbon fabric itself sliding around. So I chose this as a good one to use as a backing fabric for the snaps. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a single one in this as a test before I start actually putting them in to the project. I have this piece here, the black one, the screwdriver for changing it. I'm going to guess I have the correct size in here. I will need to have a piece like this and a piece like this. These are center ones. So it looks like these snap in like that. So those are the insides of the snaps that go together. And then I'll need two of these outer pieces. It looks like those all look the same and so the I don't have to worry about having the back and the top being different. They're the same both ways. I'll use the awl. I'll poke a hole through. I'm doubling up this and so that the snap will be coming inside. I take one of these that has the pokey part. It looks kind of like a tack that is plastic. The thumb tack. I'll take this one, set it on top, and then I'll grab the tool, slip the whole thing into the tool, make sure it's straight, and squeeze it tight. I didn't hear a snap or anything, but it does appear to be tight. Now I'm going to grab the other end. I figured I might as well make a cool little loop here. I'll use the awl. 
poke a hole through, put the backing, the nice outside part, the opposite one for the inside part, set that on, slip it into the machine, and give it a squeeze. There is no clicking to indicate that it has tightened up, but when you do get it out, you see an interesting where the plastic has been squozen out a bit and it has a little slight design in that. Now let's see how well it snaps. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate putting on the bottom of the snaps. I have the top here done. These are three inches apart from center. I need to put them so that they match on the bottom. This particular piece I ended up knitting too far. When I do the pattern, for it, when I write up the pattern, I will change that a little. And so it won't be so long. So I'm folding it over when I'm doing it, so it'll have double thickness of the knitted area. And since I need this to match up, oh, I do need to make sure to get the ribbon. I have enough ribbon to go all the way over and fold over. A little bit extra isn't going to hurt. You don't want it to be too little. You don't want it too short. So I cut the ribbon. I'm going to have the ends folded over and on the inside of the fabric so you don't have the fraying threads being a problem. And since I'm matching it up, I'm going to want to fold the fabric and get it to where it's where I want it to be. Figure that out. Take the pointy part poke it through the knitted fabric, make sure it's going to match up, take the ribbon, poke it through the ribbon, find the opposite half of the snap, which is the one that's skinnier in the center, put that on, we'll see how this works through the double thickness of fabric. Set this in the center of the tool and squeeze. Okay, that seems to work very nicely. That went right on. When I snap it, it's in the right position. Come down to the next area. The next snap. Fold it over. Figure out just where it needs to be. I think it needs to go right in the middle of that stitch. Put it through the stitch. I'm going to go ahead and lay it down flat when I set the, when I bring the ribbon across so I can get the ribbon in the right position. Inside of the next snap. Insert it inside the tool, make sure it's centered, and squeeze. Let's check that one out. Let's see if that worked. Hopefully. Oh, excellent. That's turning out very nice. All right, those went really nicely. Now it is time for me to do the snaps up the side. I think these snaps actually color-wise work very nice with this. So now I need to go up the side and up here. I will come back to you and show you what it looks like when that is done. I think the snaps look really great. And they open and close easily. They hold it together. I am very happy with this and the ribbon looks nice underneath. I still need to sew it down so it doesn't have these openings there, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with this preemie sleep sack. 
I hope to be able to get the pattern written up and in Ravelry fairly soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along on my journey, and I will see you next time. Bye.